Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to Lifestyle Manifesting. I'm Shannon. And I talk about all with uh, manifesting your life, all different areas of your life. Today, I wanted to start talking about manifesting on a time frame, manifesting on a time crunch, because that possibility exists. I am working in my group on manifesting by a certain time and date, being a powerful manifester, because we know all possibilities exist, and we know that God knows how to manifest instantly, effortlessly. So be the version of you who knows how to manifest instantly. The version of you who knows how to manifest instantly could look at something and say, I know how to, I know how to turn this around. I know how to overcome circumstances. I know how to do this. I know what I'm doing. I know that I'm a master manifester. I know how to see a new vision. I know how to see a new perspective. I know how to have things go in my favor. I know that things always work out for me. I know that I can manifest instantly. I know that this can be done so quickly. All right, so the version of you who can manifest really fast is the version of you who, has, who says things to yourself like that. Like, I am the most powerful person and I know how to manifest my dream life. I know how to bring things to me. I am a magnet for all my desires. I am a magnet bringing in everything to me. Everything just wants to be part of my life. I am the life-giving spirit. I am the life-giving spirit bringing everything into my life. I give life to everything. I bring increase to everything in this world. I bring increase to the things that are in my presence. All right, so see that vision of you and that picture of you. You bring, well, of course everything wants to be a part of your life. All these experiences want to be with you. Your specific person wants to be with you. The money wants to be with you because you bring joy and increase and passion, okay? Because you really, it is your birthright. So by birthright, all of these things are already yours. Start being that version of you right now. Think of your being, right? Your, your inner being. Now, who are you being right now? Are you being the person who has a victim mentality? It's not working out. I don't know how to do this. I've tried and it's kind of working, kind of not working. Okay, all of that, it's not that it's necessarily bad, but we want to align to a vision and a version of you who is powerful, unlimited, the version of you who knows what you're doing. So you have to keep claiming and declaring that version of you. And the key is persisting. You have to persist. Because even when the world shows you the opposite, you have to be so secure within that you know all you have to do is persist, stay loyal to your vision, and you will create the world that you want. You will create the dream reality and everything that you want that you've had, um, actually the desire has been given to you to help you wake up to this understanding and this, this consciousness. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions. What kind of questions do you have today? I'm um, looking for success stories. Bring your success stories. I want you to tell me the successes that are happening in your life. And um, let's intend that you are a powerful manifester who knows how to manifest all of your dreams. Okay, why do some coaches say to get SP, change SP story, and others say change self. So which one do we do? You're actually doing both at the same time. Okay, understand. You have to look, you're looking at reality differently. All of this is a manifestation. Even the physical body is a manifestation. Your specific person is a manifestation. Okay, when you have to know that everything is one, your specific person is part of an extension of you. They are not separate. So you can manifest focusing on your specific person, but you want to make sure you're really not thinking that they are separate from you because they're not. It's all one. It's all one. It's just a perception. So there's not a right or a wrong. Both always work. Both of those ways work. 
first and foremost, a really powerful way to, to manifest your specific person is to focus on yourself. And the reason that you want to focus on yourself, focus on self, because you got to see what the vision of you is. You're, you're manifesting based on the story you're telling, right? The story that you're telling in your mind. So if you're telling the story, if you're not realizing it and you're telling a story that your specific person is so great and that you're not sure if they like you, but you're trying to get them in your life. Now you're actually focusing on the lack of who you are and you're focusing on something outside of you. Okay. To manifest something, you have to embody and be that person. So, so you have to be, so even the coaches who say, focus on the SP and change the story, ultimately the story comes back to the foundation of who are you? I mean, it's really almost, it can be perceived as one in the same because it's only one, it's a, you're only one, but you, you have to change your perception around how you're manifesting or how you're creating your reality. If you want to be more specific, how are you living your life? We could just say a general term, right? This is how we are living our life. We're living our life based on perception. Okay, so now when you think you, okay, like let's say yesterday I was uh, talking about the self-concept. Think about you're developing the character, right? You are the writer of the, your life. You develop your character. So if this character, the main character, you or me, right, me in my own world, if the main character is insecure, what do you think is gonna happen with their specific person? It doesn't mean they can't manifest them, but how will that relationship be? Will that be a really strong, stable relationship? Because because we wanna perceive, if you're looking for a long-term relationship, you wanna perceive a rela uh, relationship that, that has real, a real solid foundation. Okay, so focus on, in my perception, focus on yourself first. You're focusing on yourself and as a byproduct, your reality and everything, you know, everything you see, the 3D reality that's, that appears to be separate from you, but it's not separate, but appears to be separate from you. Uh, it feels easier to change yourself than to think you're, you know, doing something to the 3D reality. All you have to do is change your concept of yourself. Okay, now when you see yourself as a secure person, like let's say you see yourself as, oh, I'm a goddess. Oh, I'm one of those people that just gets everything I want. I'm one of those people that people just come to me and they're bringing me gifts. I'm the person that I walk into a room and it's like I turn heads. Okay, so if you see yourself as this version of you, you're, you have to consistently see yourself as that version. You will become that version. The world will just... Uh, mold around your perception. If you're focused on your specific person, now you're not necessarily doing the inner work of who is the stable, secure version of you in the relationship. So focus on yourself first. Be the version of you who's like, you know you got this. They will, know, they will as a byproduct, reflect how you see yourself. Because really all you have to do is change yourself and not only change when you're changing your perception of self it's going to reflect every area of your life people will look differently at you at work um, people in your family will see you in a different light okay you will inspire others you will just start to inspire others to want to be around you you'll you'll inspire them to see you in a new light in a new way um, can it be done quickly if it involves another person? Absolutely. Uh, manifestations are happen happening instantly already. You're already manifesting instantly. But you are manifesting instantly based on your current perception of self. And you're manifesting instantly what you see in your reality based on how you believe reality to work. So if you think reality is linear time, and if you think you got to go from A to Z, to get, to, you know, you have to go to school and then you have to do this and then you have to do that to get the career or anything, then um, like you're manifesting based on that belief, okay? But there's people that already believe, like you don't have to, you don't have to get a degree, you could get the highest paying job, okay? It's all about your belief system. So let your beliefs align with the vision of you with your desire, okay? So can it be done quickly? Yes. This is what I'm doing in my private, my VIP group. 
if anyone's interested in, in more support, you want the support and the motivation, you want somebody to, to help tell you every day and remind you that you're the operant power, that, that's a powerful place to go into my group. It's a monthly subscription, $35 a month. It's not a lot of money for the amount of how you're changing your world, okay? So you have to start affirming. Well, well first I was saying in my group, we're working on that right now. We're manifesting quickly we're manifesting on a time frame we're, we're practicing that to become that so just like anything else in life you need to practice you need to practice your your skills of manifesting you 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 also the more you practice the more you create stable beliefs that become real solid because you're not out on your own wondering is this true is that true one coach says this one coach says that Every coach is teaching something different on their own personal experience and not one person is wrong. Every single one of them is right. Even mainstream law of attraction is right. They are getting results, they are getting success. It's not wrong. Nothing is wrong. It's just how, it's what would be, what I would kind of perceive as wrong is, should I do this, should I do that? What's the right way, what's the wrong way? Okay, you don't want your mind to be in that place. You wanna just say, this is working. Okay, I will study someone like Tony Robbins who teaches nothing like I do, but he is teaching reality creation and he's brilliant at it. I do not teach from his perspective because I do not believe we have to work hard because I have proven to myself, right? So I still will listen to his lectures and I listen, but I don't listen saying that's wrong. I listen and I say, oh, is there anything that I could listen and, and see a new perspective for myself and see a more powerful way to create in my own world? Okay, so that's a really, that's the way that you as um, you're learning, I mean, I'm still learning too. We're always learning, right? So as you're learning and developing the skill, right? The skill of a disciplined mind, the skill of seeing new possibilities and unlimited reality, so as you look at any coach make a decision you're going to just take value from it and you're going you're the operant power you get to decide what your truth is okay so yeah so i had to go back to the question because i i ranted off uh, a bunch of other things but can it be done quickly if it involves another person absolutely so you want to be cre be creating a reality where that's natural and normal what would the thoughts be if it's natural and normal for you to, to do anything quickly? Well, you would start saying to yourself, hey, I'm really good at this. I am proficient, right? Like think of the ideas of like fast, proficient, so good. What other? I mean, we could just pu pull up that in, this, uh, in the dictionary or <laughs> Google, <laughs> right? Pull up the, the dictionary on Google and just put, um, you know, quick, and see what other words are coming up. And now you're affirming that, right? I, I do this quickly, fast, efficient, proficient. I'm so good at manifesting anything and everything like that. Okay, so that reality exists. You have to create that reality by consistently be, uh, becoming, becoming that person, the version of you who knows how to do that. The version of you who knows how to do that is, is also knows I'm the creator of my reality everything's responding to me everyone is myself pushed out my thoughts create i am a powerful manifester my affirmations manifest quickly i just do a meditation and my manifestations happen quickly okay so remember this is something you consistently practice and you have to persevere with this vision until your world becomes that because currently your world is not that right we're the reason we're we're um we're, we're aligning with a new reality that already exists. So you have to keep persisting until that becomes your reality. And you don't look at the world and say it didn't happen because that means you didn't, you didn't get there. That means you didn't do the work you needed to do. The work you need to do is persist until it manifests. <laughs> uh, Destiny, does anyone wanna be manifesting buddies? Yeah, if you wanna join, I have, um, hold on one second, I need a little water. I have a free Facebook group. 
So if you want to go into my free Facebook group and find a manifesting buddy in there, I know some people are, are chatting back and forth. The link in my bio has all the ways to get in touch with me. So I have free, things for free. Obviously, I go for free here. I want you guys to understand and get this. I post these videos on YouTube. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can watch the videos and I post other things on there as well. Um, I have many ways to create success in your own life, whether it's free or whether you purchase something. I have a course. I created a course because all of you guys asked me to. I wasn't even planning to do it, but what I did was I took all my success stories and I put that into a course because there was a demand for that. So my course, Master Your Reality by Mastering Your Self-Concept, that is a blueprint for you to be the version of you with your desire. Okay. If you don't want to do it on your own, join my VIP group because we go, I go live in there all the time. I go, you can chat with me. You want to chat with me and with your situation, send me a private chat in there. You can join free for three days. See if you like, it, if it's something for you. I'm doing a December challenge right now. So every day I'm prompting the December challenge and where we're at, what we're doing. So we're also working on manifesting by a time frame, And we just started this as a group. So it is brand new. I have proven to myself I can manifest many things instantly because I practiced it. So now I'm bringing that to the group and we're doing that together. It's really fun. So I, because that, you know, that's something I feel like we hear in the community, like you can't manifest, don't focus on time. Well, guess what? We are going to focus on time and we are going to be powerful manifestors who know how to manifest on a time frame. And I'm using some of Neville Goddard's teachings and techniques because he states it in his um, book, Your Faith is Your Fortune, chapter 15, he talks about interval of time. And he talks about how to manifest by a certain interval of time. Okay, so we're gonna work on that. We are going to be that because we're working on it. You wanna make the SP better, better version, but you can change self because they are a reflection of you. Good. I love how you wrote, how you stated that, right? The, the, that's what's true. The, your, your specific person is a reflection of you. So if they are a reflection, I mean, this is all a reflection too, but when we go to consciousness, that's what, cre that's, what's creating your reality consciousness. So think about like when you're um, fixing something, you want to like, think of a house, the house, right? A house has a strong foundation. And if the house has a really strong foundation, you can build on that house. You could build, you know, that first level, second level, third level, what, everything you're building when you have a strong foundation. Okay. So if you don't have a strong foundation, this is self, right? This is why focusing on self is really the powerful way to go. It's because um, if this isn't solid now, let's say you're getting you're working with that specific person, but this isn't solid. Well, where's that gonna go down the line? Okay, because you wanna think, think bigger, right? Think successful long-term relationship. And another way to look at it, like the reflection, right? Your specific person's just a reflection. It's a reflection. So you're not gonna change the mirror out here. You're gonna change within the mirror. You're gonna change your perception. I mean, either way, you're changing perception from within your consciousness. Change your perception of self. Okay. And then, you know, what story are you telling? Let that story align. See the version of them in their best, see them in their best self. Okay. You, can, you have to no longer look at the version of them that treated you like shit. You have to see the version of you, of them, <laughs> the version of them who is treating you like a priority, who sees your value. You have to see the version of them who sees your value, the version of them who wants everything to do with you, who is prioritizing you, who's appreciating you. Okay, oh, Janelle, you have two presentations next week, nervous. Okay, nervousness is also excitement. So. Just say, I'm excited. In instead of saying, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, just think, you know what, I'm excited for this. Okay, start turning nervous into excitement. And then be the version of you who is like, I'm good at this, okay? Practice your presentations because it's whatever we rehearse in our mind is what 
we experience. If we're not, if we're re rehearsing in our mind that we're nervous and I don't know how I'm gonna do, well then that's most likely your outcome. So practice in your mind, I'm great at presentations. I intend to feel really confident. I am confident. I intend to remember all the details and the information. I intend it goes smoothly. I intend even if it doesn't go smoothly, it goes great. I intend I get the best grade ever. Okay, so whether you say an intention or statement, declare how, rehearse whatever we do in our mind, <laughs> whatever we do, um, what are we thinking and believing? Okay, so what you need to be doing is rehearsing. Just like the play, this is the play of your life, rehearse how it's going to go. And you get to create how it's going to go. How do you join? Um, the link in my bio right here, you can join, look at the link in my bio through, through do, um, th I have several different links. I have a link if you want to look at my self-concept course. I have a link to my free Facebook group, okay? The link in my bio. So subscribe and follow me here. Um, I also have a journal. I created this journal. Everything I write in this journal becomes true because I had a personal experience that everything I wrote down Within a year, everything I'd written down in that journal became true. So if you're looking for a new journal, I have that in there as well. How long does it take for us to do the shift of self-concept? It will take as long as it takes for you to believe it. I have many people manifest self-concept so powerfully within days. And, and, and then not only do they feel great about themselves, their specific person just shows up. Okay, I have so many success stories like that. Some people, that's okay, everything is okay. But by the way, I didn't ha have anybody helping me and working with me. It took me, it took me over a year. It took me personally over a year. But, I, but at the time, there's nobody teaching anything like this. You are at a huge advantage. You're at a huge advantage. There is so much information available to you about reality creation, about law of assumption, about how the world is everything, um, everything is yourself pushed out. So how long is it going to take? It's going to take as long as it takes for you to decide that you are. So keep, so don't think that um, self-concept's going to take three months or whatever. <laughs> Don't think that you, there's only the eternal now, this present moment. So you want to start thinking, I already am. I, so you, you want to think that you've already shifted. Okay. I know it seems backwards, but it's not because as you declare, I already am, you just start becoming it. So you keep saying, I already am my highest self-concept. I already know, right? I already know this. I already know my value. And then continue to affirm on a daily basis the affirmations of someone who has their desire. So if you have your desire of a relationship, what are your thoughts? That would be, I got this. Ooh, I'm a priority. I know I feel good. I know I'm amazing. I know that I'm a, I know that I'm a, like goddess. What do you want to say, right? What is it? I know I'm valued. I know I'm respected. I know and expect for my person to be communicating with me uh, consistently because that, that, that would be the version of you, right? So think of what, get the clear picture of what that is, of you. Write that out. And now you're affirming that every day. And then you're also, in addition, just keep declaring, I, I already am all of this. Okay. Because it can happen really fast. Okay. Who but me said, I've been listening to you on YouTube and get my beliefs back. I know I've done this many times. Well, that's okay. You're doing great. You're doing great. This is about consistency. First of all, do you understand that the whole 90% of the world or 95% of the world out there, <laughs> which is also a reflection because we didn't know this. We didn't know reality to be this way. Okay. So it's okay if however long it takes, it's okay if we fall off the wagon because it appears the reality used to appear differently. It used to appear solid and hard facts. We had no idea we were the causation. Now you know. So, so the power of my VIP group is that I keep people on target remembering that you are the operant power. 
and you're not gonna forget that. And you're not gonna keep falling off the horse because it'll be rare and few and far between falling off the horse or falling off the wagon because you get right back on and now you're even more solid. And you have the support of other visionaries, like we're literally visionaries seeing reality, how flexible and malleable. I mean, this is what people call enlightenment. Enlightenment is understanding you're not who you think you are. That's what this whole process is, understanding we are the creator. You guys are powerful. I have to run. My kids are going to be waiting for me at school. So um, think about what you're grateful for and keep falling into the feeling of gratitude, falling into or keep saturating and aligning yourself with the feeling of gratitude because that is truly living in the end. Being grateful for who you are, that's living in the end of your desire, living in the end of feeling and knowing and appreciating. So that's a really easy way to live in the end with your desire. I love you all. If you have additional questions, put them um, on my YouTube channel, join my free Facebook group, join my VIP group, and ask me questions in any of those places. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye.